Oh man, guys, it is, uh, it's been a couple weeks, almost a couple weeks since the last video. All the stuff that we did on the exhaust. I started out on a couple other things for the S1000, ran into some problems, and so I've been in a little bit of a waiting game. But let's uh, jump back to when I first started working on this stuff, show you guys what I got done, and show you where I'm at right now. So the past couple videos that I've done installing stuff on the S1000 have been Pro probably the more substantial look change items that we've done on the bike so far. Of course, we just did the uh, Austin Racing exhaust, which got rid of the nasty stock can that was back there. And before that, we did the Louis Moto seat covers, which look pretty freaking great. I got a lot more that I want to do to this bike and we're going to be doing uh, some more of it today. By the way, how do you like these lights? I knew after working on the seat cover and on the exhaust in my garage that I seriously needed to make a lighting chain. I picked up these. It was a six pack on Amazon for like 40 bucks. I'll link them down in the description. Amazing. You can hardwire them, which is what I did. I just took out the, the ceiling light in my garage, hardwired it in there and uh, you can link them all together. Now I have actually good lighting in my garage. I picked up, I ordered another set. Um, I'm gonna continue around the other side uh, so we can get even more lighting in here, but even just these for 40 bucks, can't beat it. So now I can actually work in my garage at night without having to open the garage. Or on days like this, where it didn't get above freezing until like noon, and uh, I just really don't wanna work outside. But no, uh, Motivation hooked me up with some more parts that we're gonna be installing on the bike. One is something that you guys have been asking for a lot. That is uh, a new windscreen. Um, this is the uh, Puig, 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 I don't know, P-U-I-G. I've known the name for a long time, still don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this is their windscreen for the bike. Um, I'm a huge fan of theirs. Uh, they do like really nice wind tunnel testing on their windscreens. There's another brand and I can't remember what it was, but most people were putting that one on their S1000 because I think it was the only one available at the time. Um, but it had like a weird coloring to it if you got the smoke version. I just didn't like it and I thought the shape was kind of weird. I like this one because it stays a little bit more to the shape of the stock windscreen um, while still adding a little bit more height to it, but not looking crazy tall. I got the light smoke version of it rather than going with pure clear or dark smoke. And the reason being for that is I still wanted a little bit of tint to kind of help the white on the bike pop a little bit more, but I didn't want to go super dark so that you guys can't really even see through the windscreen if I'm tucked under um, the windscreen while I'm riding. The other thing, probably the number one best quality of life mod that you can do on your bike, Litec chain adjusters. These things, I had them on my R1 and I was planning on getting them for my R6. I don't know why I never did, but seriously will change your life. They replace the factory axle blocks. So it gets rid of this, and it gets rid of the bolts here. So there's no more fumbling with two different wrenches, trying to get these things matched up perfectly. With these, you mount them up, and then it's got a bolt on the end. You just stick your socket on there, adjust it. It's just the one on the end, and it has all the um, really precise markings on those new blocks. It's amazing. I'm gonna do the windscreen first, because that's simple. Pop out the uh, stock one and put in the new one. What's that? A motorcycle lift. I've taken care of a couple of projects since I did the windscreen on the bike, which turned out amazing. I love, love how it looks. I love the shape. I like that it has just a little bit of a tint to it without completely, like, my biggest worry, and I know a dark smoke would probably look better on the bike, but my biggest worry was that I would do a dark smoke and then when I would actually be tucked, you wouldn't really be able to see through the windscreen. So as you can see here, still not a problem seeing through the windscreen. I just think it looks really nice. Adds a little bit of a different shape to it. Still can get the, uh, <laughs> the good views when we're fully tucked. So that is complete. And I think I actually forgot to say that I also wanted to take off the reflectors on the front fender. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that now. The big orange ones that are, you know, 
they're kind of an eyesore. So yeah, I'm gonna get to work. I'll take off the reflectors. And then the next thing we'll do is uh, get on those light tech chain adjusters. <laughs> All right, so that was super easy. Uh, I had a couple people tell me on Instagram. One person said it was 10 second job. Another person said it was tedious. Uh, that was very easy and not tedious. Just a couple tips uh, for how I did it. I used my heat gun. You probably can use a, a hair dryer too. It might just take you a little bit longer. Um, heat it up. I used uh, one of these little plastic pry tools to peel or to pry from the top and then I could just pry the reflector right off. It'll leave some of the adhesive on it. So I heated that up again. You just use my finger carefully to uh, rub that off. Then I use some Goo Gone to get all of it off and then some isopropyl alcohol to uh, clean off the Goo Gone and then some uh, just some quick spray detailer wax to Clean, clean stuff up and uh, put a little protective layer on there. So that's all done. Looks really nice, nice and clean, both sides. And uh, now we can move on to the chain adjusters. So what I discovered is that the light tech chain adjusters that they currently have do not fit on the new 2020. I don't know if their part number listed that it was supposed to fit the new bike, but uh, Motivation and I thought that uh, the same chain adjusters from the previous gen would fit onto the new ones. That does not seem to be the case. It has a little backing plate that goes on the backside of the swing arm like right here, and you tighten that down and it holds the chain adjuster to the swing arm this direction. I guess the old swing arm is a little bit thicker on the side here, and so on this bike, that backing plate doesn't actually um, back up flush to the swing arm. So, those don't fit. So I had to put the stock hardware back on here, get everything tightened up, get the bolts adjusted so the chain was in the right position while we wait for a different set of chain adjusters. There's a company called Gillis Tooling that makes some and theirs actually do fit both generations because they mount in a little bit different of a manner than the Litec ones do. We are currently waiting on those and once those come in, I'll go over and pick those up for motivation. But for now, the bike is uh, back in fully operating <laughs> condition. Um, I got everything tightened up and all that. I got the reflectors off. I got the new windscreen on. So I'm going to test this out, take it out for a ride and uh, just some have some fun with it. I'm going to be heading over to Motivation for a different reason though. Nate, um, an owner over there at Motivation, he has a friend that is working on some mirror block offs that are titanium. Um, that I'm gonna try on the bike. So we're gonna head over there and get those fitted up to see how they how they fit, how they look, see if they're good to go for a final production version. We'll finally get these stock mirrors off of here and get things cleaned up. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Downshifts will never get old. Alrighty.
feels strange, but you just tug on it and it pops these two clips there. And then those are your turn signals. For as complex as this bike is, it's crazy how like simple some of the stuff they do on this is. Yeah, for sure. Like it was, it, it's such a pain to do, undo the plugs. Um, well, the they know the you're tracking this bike. They know <laughs> that that's true. where it's that going. That is true. So we'll go with this left mirror. Now what's nice is they actually integrate the washer into the nut here. Yeah. So that you don't lose both those. Pull on it. There we go. Is it out? Yep. yep. So then it's just a simple feed out through there and your mirror's off. And you'll see some bikes you can just wrap like a zip tie around when you take your mirrors, but your your mirrors are actually what's holding this down. Gotcha. So it, that's why it's important to actually have a mirror block off the plate. Otherwise this would be just all over around. the place. Yeah. That was like more of a purple finish that he had. Um, this one is kind of, it's like a lighter blue it looks a little bit more like the uh the lighter m blue but these are all kind of like a, a prototype not even final bolts or or anything so we're just getting shape on here to see how it looks i like that blue color yeah that looks pretty sharp and we'll have uh torx torx bolts instead of these that looks yeah. clean yeah the fitment's right though I mean This bike looks so much better without the mirrors on it. I wasn't even uh, planning on that, having these on here permanently. I was just going over there to test them out, but he said that uh, he didn't need to hang on to these prototype ones to make the final version. So he's gonna make a, a couple changes on them and also get the uh, the final bolts on there so they'll sit completely flush in there. Oh man, I, I really like the purple too. I think it'd be funky to do a, like a white and purple bike with those on here. myself a much needed haircut what's that oh man I'm, I'm still trying to find it it's somewhere above 180 i know that <laughs> you too man i'll see you shout out to that guy if he ends up checking out the channel i uh, <laughs> i plugged it in on his phone Woo. oh yeah i gotta get i <laughs> gotta get gas the sound oh, I love the look man I keep saying it <laughs> I, I just had to go home with these even even with them being prototype and different colors <laughs> I had to go home with them because once I saw it without the mirrors I was like uh, I can't go back I can't go back <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure out how to turn off the uh, this error for the mirrors being unplugged. The mirrors have the turn signals integrated into them. Ooh, beer hall. I gotta say, I really like the windscreen, like the actual airflow, because it's pretty windy right now, and I'm sitting up straight, and it, it, it feels great. Oh dang, guys. I think that's freaking Air Force One right there. I know Trump was supposed to come into town today. He was going to tour the new Apple campus and that definitely looked like the paint job for Air Force One. Let me know down in the comments though what you guys think of these. He said he can also do like a gold color. It just depends on, I guess, I guess you hit the titanium with the voltage and it changes the color because of the, the heat. And based on what voltage you hit it with, you can change it to a specific colors. I don't know, it sounded amazing, <laughs> but man. No mirror look guys, all day long. So let me know what you guys think of those mirror block offs. When I get the final version, um, I'll show you guys, put them on the bike and let you guys know where you can buy them if you wanna get them for your uh, S1000. I am stoked on them. I'm so, I wasn't expecting to get my mirrors off this quickly. Um, I was kinda waiting on some other block off solutions, but it's done. Mirrors are off. Uh, 
I'm gonna be picking, I left those over at Motivation, I'm gonna pick them up, uh, check the weight savings, see, see how much those weighed. It was probably about a pound and a half of weight savings, that's my guess. Windscreen is done, reflectors are off. Later this week, I think the uh, the Gillies tooling, Gillies, Gillis, the chain adjusters for the bike, those will be coming in, we'll get those onto the bike and uh, That'll be really nice. I'm really, really stoked on that. I think one of the things on my radar is doing a 520 or 525 chain and sprocket kit uh, with an EK 3D chain. Um, but I have to check to see if Superlight has their sprockets for the bike yet. I really wanted to do a Superlight sprocket. But yeah, that's on my radar for uh, mods that are coming soon for the bike. Let me know what else you guys want to see on the bike. I'm nowhere near done, but I'm trying to figure out what stuff to do now and uh, what stuff to do later on. So let me know what you guys want to see. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You guys have been awesome. I've been Modernosity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.